Porn, profanity, even sexual bondage. They're all part of a movie recently shown to local 12 year olds at school. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Adrienne Moore. The movie was produced and directed by Governor Newsom's wife, Jennifer. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is at Creekside Middle School with the story all new here at 6. The movie has good intentions. It wants to teach kids lessons about male stereotypes. But later on in the movie, shown here, it shows pictures of violence and features naked women in sexual poses. This was shown to seventh grade students at Creekside Middle School, and now some of their parents are questioning why their kids saw this content. Tonight, we're digging deeper into the district policy, which says the teacher who showed this film clearly broke the rules. Oh. We showed Creekside Middle School parent Rathana. Carter, just the trailer for The Mask You Live In. Oh my goodness. The trailer contains so much profanity, we can't even show you the first 10 seconds on air. You know, I don't allow my kid to even speak a word of like that, you know? The documentary goes on to show nude images that are blurred or pixelated, but leave little to the imagination. Kid at this age, like I tell you, you know, they're, they're like sponge, right? So when the movie was shown by a substitute teacher, some parents say their kids came home terrified of the images. And I would agree they're not appropriate. The superintendent of Patterson School District, Philip Alfano, says he saw the film and agreed with parents some images are disturbing. Some of the topics discussed are probably more appropriate for a high school or college audience. The recommended audience for the film is 14 and older. Digging deeper, we asked whether showing this film broke school policy. The superintendent says yes. The teacher didn't follow a policy that requires staff to first get approval from the school administrator for any potentially controversial content used in class. We encourage teachers to use supplemental materials, but we also want them to use those with caution. He also says an unedited version of Newsom's film was shown by mistake. Even the edited version should have been cleared to be shown to students. The superintendent couldn't say whether the teacher or the substitute teacher involved in this would be facing any disciplinary action, but he did say it would be dealt with, quote, formally. We also reached out to Jennifer Newsom's team for comment about showing the movie here and have not yet heard back.